avatar, there's the icon, I tap on it, you could hear the sound, it's switched to sound mode and the icon turned green, I scroll over there again, press it again, switch to vibration and the color switch to. We start in Tasker and I'm going to create a global variable. Global variables are all uppercase in Tasker and I'm just going to call it VIB and we are going to give a value of zero to it. So this is going to keep track whether uh, vibration is enabled or not. Then we go to tasks and we add a new task and uh, I'm just going to call it VIP toggle. Uh, task names can be lowercase, uppercase, whatever you want. And the command we use here is in the audio action group under sound mode and you see here we have the three options, so we can set it to vibrate if this uh, global variable VIB is set to one, let's say. So if it's one, it's going to set to vibrate. And I'm going to make a duplicate of this. So I long press to select, make a copy, and then paste it here. And I'm going to edit the copy and make it sound if the VIB value is zero. Now we will have to change the VIB, so it will also change it from one to zero and then from zero to one. We can use the variable group set variable, uh, variable set command here, and we can set VIB to one minus VIB But you have to be careful to do math here. So uh, take the value of VIB, take it away from one. So if it was zero, one minus zero is one, so it will become one. And if it was one, one minus one is zero, so it is set back to zero. That's a simple enough trick. So this is all you actually need. And you can test it already using the little play button. And you can see if I press the play button, now it's changed to vibration. I press it again and it's uh, changed back to regular sound. You could see the little icon there up next, uh, next to the I uh, icons in the status bar. I do it again. You see the little uh, icon there. So that's basically all you need. I'm going to exit back here and add a tasker bubble in Bubble Cloud Wear Cloud Editor. You see, I'm going to use the add tasker uh, floating action button here. So I click on this top uh, action button and from the list of uh, tasker task, I choose VIB toggle. We can pick a nice icon for this. So I'm going to search for VIB and this Elixir icon pack has this nice vibration icon. So I select that and this red color is, is nice enough uh, for now. So I press save and you can see that this tasker bubble is going to be somewhere in my uh, archive cloud. So synchronize uh, settings are synchronized to my watch and I'm going to test it. So exit the wear cloud editor, watch the top of the screen. I swipe over to my icon on my watch and press mm. the icon. You see I'm set to vibration. I press it again and I'm set back to sound. So this is great, but the icon looks the same on the watch. If you want some uh, feedback on that icon, we can change the color of it based on its setting. To do this, we will use the Bubble Cloud plugin in Tasker. So we go back to Tasker and go to edit this VIB toggle uh, task. And I'm going to add a 
plugin, the Bubble Cloud plugin. And we are going to pick, uh, set, set it up using the configuration. We are going to pick this uh, VIB toggle uh, bubble. So it's going to change itself, which is okay. Uh, you just make, have to make sure to create the bubble before you come back to edit it. Otherwise, you will not find it in the list. So it's going to change the VIB toggle bubble and it's going to change its color to, uh, to red. No, actually to green. To change the color of it to green. And you see now uh, the background color is checked. So it's going to be uh, set. I hit the check mark and this is going to be if the VIB has a value of zero. So if it's not vibrating, it's going to have the green color. We can come back and let me pull this up next to the uh, other one. So if VIB is zero, it's going to uh, change its color, the bubble color to green and set the sound mode to sound. Now we need to do something similar uh, if it's uh, set to vibration. So I again make a copy and I paste. And this time we edit the copy and uh, we are going to change the color to red and change this value to one. So you can see if it if VIB is one, we set it to vibration and the color to red. If it's uh, zero, we set the color to green and the sound mode to sound. The order doesn't really matter here. And we also switch between one and zero. And that's basically it on my watch. I wake it up, scroll away. Scroll over to my app drawer. There's the icon. I tap on it. You could hear the sound. It's switched to sound mode and the icon turned green. I scroll over there again. Press it again. Switch to vibration and the color switch to red. So we get a color feedback too.